If you've ever seen studio pictures from control rooms around the world, you're going to notice one thing stands out in almost every picture, and that's the Blackface 1176. The FET A76 is based on this model, and this has been used on countless records since the 60s. Anything from Led Zeppelin drums to Justin Timberlake vocals. It's extremely versatile, trust me. With just a few minimal controls, it's really easy to use. The two big knobs are the input and output. If you want to drive more input, you just crank the input, which engages the compression, and then you can use the output for compensating the volume. The attack and release controls are a little bit tricky because you have to turn it counterclockwise to slow it down, and you turn it clockwise, labeled fast, to have a faster attack or release. And the ratios are fixed, 4 to 1, 8 to 1, 12 to 1, and 20 to 1. And I'm going to show you an Easter egg in the next video. But for this example, let's use it on our snare track. We'll listen to the drums before, and then we'll isolate the snare. So we want to add more snap on this snare. And for that, we're going to use a slow attack, medium release, and then we're going to adjust our input and output controls. So right away with 3 to 5 dB of gain reduction, we're getting more body and snap out of the snare. Let's hear it before. Now one thing that you don't want to do intentionally is increase the attack too fast. Because what happens then is that it sucks the life out of the snare. As you can hear, we're losing all the transients. So for percussive elements, it's really good to use the slow attack somewhere around three. So as you can tell, this gives you instant gratification. I highly recommend exploring its use on lead vocals, guitars, bass, drums, just about anything. It's going to sound fantastic. Trust me. I hope you enjoy this. I'll see you in the next video.